Hello, I'm Blackfoot Ferret. It's time to brew jello and blast fireworks, and I've got plenty of both. I'm about to turn a large aquarium into a black powder reactor using 10 gallons of gelatin and a web of 100 giant sparkler cores to patriotically destroy America's eighth favorite dessert. In the past, I've relied on the fury of firecrackers to create fire underwater, but this year I'm experimenting with more colorful, slower burning sparklers. Will it blaze? Will it fizzle? Will it blend? Welcome to Fireworks and Jello 5. The lattice design creates several alternative paths the fire can take, so if one or even several links become soaked or fail to ignite, the fire can bypass them and keep going. I'm using triple time acceleration because the sparklers were very slow and the entire reaction took 6 minutes. There were a few scares along the way, where only one link was still burning. But whenever the fire reaches a connection hub, you get a surge of light. Most sparklers have a solid safety plug at the end so whoever's holding it can't burn their fingers. That was the first thing I had to remove. So my experiment with sparklers was a success. Next year I'll try combining firecrackers and sparklers again for something both fast and colorful. So happy 4th everyone, happy birthday Yappy Fox, I'll go back to doing theories tomorrow. We strike at night, but we don't seek blood. With the sound of light, show you what it means to be in love.